Hello, humans, my souls. This is Lafo, and today we're back for another episode of Jurassic World Alive. So, as you guys could see, uh, oh, we got boost sales. Oh, I didn't realize that. How many boosts can we buy? Oh, ooh, we got boosts. Speed 25. Heck yeah, I'm gonna buy that. And, uh, let's see. Attack and health. I think we are gonna buy you too as well, because there's really nothing else to spend boosts on, so let's buy all of that. I, I mean bucks, so... Since I don't, I really don't buy incubators, so let's see what we have. So, okay. Uh, the Raldus was on the 120 out of 150. That's going pretty well, but I think we could apply some more boosts on Thor with this. Oh, it's 32 boosts. No? Okay. Damage. Yeah, damage is never... Never... You can't have two less damage on Theraldosaur. 32. No, I'm not gonna go for it. It's too much. It's too much. Uh, it's... Wait. I'm just gonna wait it out. I might get something else. So, let's see. Can I apply boost? Yes, I can apply boost to you. To Karnatakis damage. Very important. No, I'm not getting really up, up tier 4 uh, on speed. Because it's just too annoying. And besides, Karnatakis is a dinosaur that I really don't uh, need to be that fast. So... Anyways, without further ado, uh, we are actually going to step into some new territory. So yeah, we got the carbon nemesis we can create, but that's not what we're here today for. But today what we're here for is creating this guy, the Labyrinthus Arodontosaurus, because uh, the recent rewards are actually Argentinosaurus DNAs, which means ma making Arodontosaurus has become much, much easier. So, oh, 50. Heck yeah. Let's create. The Arodontosaurus. Oh, right. You look beautiful. Well, I never saw you actually up close to that much before, but you look beautiful, man. Are you a carnivore or herbivore? Let me get this straight. You look like a carnivore, but you also you don't have any teeth, so... Uh... Okay, some dinosaur trainers compare the Arodontosaurus to a gigantic marine iguana. This sauropod's hybrid's long neck and narrow skull is expertly adapted to foraging on marsh grass and underwater weeds. Okay, which means that it can, uh, it's a herbivore. Alright. Oh, but I keep really getting really good DNA spins on it. Yeah. Nice. Let's drive it up straight up to level 17 for our Dente Maxima, which my Brachiosaur is level 19, so it's it's getting there, so... Alright, but actually we only have three more spins on the Arodonto, so... Yeah! We better make those worth it, but the game won't make them worth it, okay. It's totally fine, guys, it's just a red legendary, it's not an epic. Oh, 30. Well, yeah, I mean, this guy's DNA spins aren't that bad. Final spin, guys. 30. I'll take it. Better than getting a 10 or something. So, uh, well, let's see what else we got. So today we also have... Guess which arena I'm now? I finally managed to advance myself into the goddamn freaking Lockwood Estate. Yeah, congratulations, Lofa. You finally made it out of the hellhole. So, yeah, one daily battle incubator. So we're going to do that right away. Dots, attack, health, and speed. Stygimolok and Porosaurus. Very great. Porosaurus, very important. So I'm almost I'm finished with the daily tasks as well. So daily incubators. There we go. Final mission done. Finito. Give me the 95 uh, uh, Tyrannodon Tyrannodon DNA. Oh, Pachycephalosaurus. Yeah. Pachys can never hurt. Yeah, gimme, gimme. 95. Alright, so can I create a uh, Pteroquetzal? I don't think so, because I don't have enough Pteranodon DNA. Oh no, we can! How much uh, Quetzal DNA do I have? Oh, I can have one spin, yeah. Unless I get a 17, that's... 70, that's impossible. Oh, and I only had just enough for one spin anyway, so... Yeah, I guess. So this Lockwood Estate is pretty weird because you can actually fight bots here and unlike other arenas which I never fought before. So, yeah, if the timer goes down, which it usually does, then we'll be able to fight bots, which in turn gives, uh, it doesn't give, they don't give you trophies, but they give actually incubators. So it's great for people that actually want to, that want to stay in the ranks. So, 
Let's see. Uh, yep, you're gonna give me a bot, right? Yeah, you're gonna give me a bot. But honestly, I don't care. So, uh, yeah, it's not gonna work. So yeah, we're gonna just fa fight AI. AI is usually fun to take down anyway. So. Oh, look at that ambient sound. All right, let's see what we got. So. Okay, first dinosaur. Okay, we got a pretty good deck going on. So let's start off with poor Taurus. Monostegosaurus. Uh, Monostegotops, I mean. So what you can do. Cleanse self, greater stunning impact, and the slowing impact. You're likely going to go for the slowing impact, won't you? So... I will do that. Long protection. Oh, come on, crit! Come on, do your greater rendering counterattack. Now you're gonna probably gonna go for the stunning impact, so I'm gonna do that. Distraction. Prevent him from getting the hits. Alright. I still got my shield on. Distraction, okay. Distraction isn't that bad, okay? I can handle it. Okay, rampage. Slowing impact, alright. Monostegatops down. Always a nice surprise if, if with the greater rendering counter attack. I love rendering attacks. Oh, Gripolith. Okay, that's unexpected. Oh god, and you're really good. Okay. What would you do? You don't have enough attack to kill me, so you're probably gonna do that, which means... Yep, better do Cleansing Strike. Which was a bad at bad move for me, but I don't care. Oh wait, you got, you got Counter-Attack too? Oh, you also got a Rendering Counter-Attack? I didn't know that! That was unexpected. Right. Chomp it in half, Theraldosaur. Go crush him. Oh no, you got... Oh, you can... Oh, I thought you would go for regeneration, you idiot. Oh, but... Oh, now he's gonna go for it. But, nah. Won't let him. Why Why immobilize? Why did he do, bother doing that? Does he know that I got Dracorex Gen 2? To Sungaya! Oh crap! This guy's good! You're one of the better dinosaurs out there! Oh well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not! Yeah! Perfect timing! Go! Dracosartos, finish him off. Oh! Tenoto Rex. Okay, the AI is doing pretty good! I'm seeing a uh, very, very. Uh, a big device diversity of dinosaurs. I love it. And believe it or not, Drac uh Tenon Direct is just a meat shield. Oh never mind. Swaps back to the Sun Gaia. Won't matter. Goodbye. As rare as you are, you're you didn't manage to get a single hit on any of my dinosaurs. Unbelievable. What a shame. Alright, let's see. Now let's do some campaign. I haven't done the campaign in ages, so... Stage 5, yay! Great work, rookie! Yes, I'm not a rookie, give me that. Oh god. <laughs> oh, what should we do? I, I have so many choices, I do not want... I don't know what to take. Let's go for Nasutoceratops, because I love that guy, and... Oh, no, 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 let's go for uh, Torjangasaur. So, yeah, there we go. Now, that's a fair team. A level 20 versus level 3. <laughs> okay. Bring in Torjangasaurus.
Bag of Gemeise. Oh god, it does so little damage. Oh, and my and my counterattack didn't even kill it. Wow. Okay, shame on you. There we go. Bring in the Allosaurus. Yeah, distract. It's not like that you're gonna do much damage after all, but anyways. <laughs> right, security strike should kill you. Nice. Yeah, give me 100 Velociraptor DNA. I could get more than a hundred by simply darting, <laughs> honestly. Well, it's a little bit of DNA of anything is just always better. So, anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. So, if you have enjoyed this episode, leave a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, may the Jurassic Spirit be with you. Bye bye.